rush me. Oh, the battery's almost dead. Why does the battery not last long? Because I haven't charged them up fully. All right, guys, also, we are headed out. Gonna go do an install here in Gilbert, Arizona. It's a beautiful day. Today we're installing uh, four steel and glass doors that are hanging from a header. And uh, gotta put lots of hardware up, put the heavy doors up, and then put the glass in. We've discovered that putting the glass in after the fact is uh, a lighter way to install these doors with less um, potential damage to the glass. So. Okay, so this is the space where we're putting the doors. Uh, this is a big opening, nine feet tall, 103 inches wide, so just over eight feet wide. Um, we got to build out a little bit on these uh, pieces here just because of the bump out on the wall. We have a big set of beautiful steel doors sitting right here. It should be beautiful. I'm going to set the time lapse and we'll see what it does. All right, so these doors, finally got them installed. They are the black steel doors finished up today. Did a little bit of touch up. That's shot. Fully open. So what we did, uh, we fabricated these pieces, tempered glass in there, and then you've got these inserts which hold the, everything in place. Uh, we mounted these custom rails up top here, so they um, basically hold the door in place. And then with this one, what's unique, most doorways are just a straight down. This one has a little bump out right there, so we had to fabricate something to go in there. And then um, basically we did like a spacer filler piece here on front and back, which kind of keep it in place and hides that little bump out on there. Um, same over here, we got a little bump out weird little jog right there in the deal but these doors are i believe they're 26 by 104 each all custom made custom powder coated um they are powder coated they're not uh spray painted or rattle can so nice way to finish off the office there you go that's fully shut they look amazing we did this uh centerpiece which covers up any gap um, oftentimes getting the doors to line up perfectly is super hard to do. So with the centerpiece, we've just started doing that and we've just started adding on the 14 inch handles. These are all uh, custom fabricated and welded onto there. You can specify whatever handle size you want. So super easy to open. They roll perfectly. And then a 
Come on inside here. We'll look at it from the inside here. So they've got a couple stoppers up top there, which hit the rollers on the top and they keep the door from going too far. And then on the bottom is a stay roller. So this stay roller keeps it from flinging out. So basically keeps the door locked in place. And when you're on the inside shutting it, there is no handle on the inside here. So basically just pull on that. Keeps it shut, nice and tight. So finish off the office real nicely. On this side over here, this is that other piece of angle that we put in there. So that again hides that gap on the little ledge down there. So all done, looking beautiful. They turned out amazing. They're gonna be a nice addition to this house. And there you go, home office complete. Looks good. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next one. All right, so this is where we're where we are today. Uh, we got this funky bump out thing. So the wall bumps out three and a half inches right there. It goes all the way around. So we're gonna put a barn door up in that space. And basically we're going across here. We're gonna build out like a faux header here. And then I'll have a matching piece of wood to go to about here. And so this whole thing will look a little less um, cumbersome, I guess. And then it gives them a nice privacy. So the door will slide that way, and then it will be a nice way to block off the, because uh, like my house, the bed literally faces right into the bathroom. So a lot of homes in Arizona have this, which is really not cool. All right guys, so here's the finished product of this door. We did a header, built that piece out all the way around. So it finishes it off nicely. And then it opens up, perfect. Like that. And then this basically, so it gives you, you know, uh, six inches or so that takes away but it works really good pretty happy with how it turned out on the inside here light switch there we go finished product okay job's done good job are you excited I'm glad it's over I'm proud of this week is over I'm proud of this week. I'm proud of it too. I feel weak because of this week. Good. But I'm proud of it. I feel weak partially because it's 95 degrees in April. Yeah. Anyway, week's done. It's in the can. Headed back. Start all over again on Monday. Hope you guys are enjoying this little journey. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, Maybe not suggestions, probably won't. I probably won't listen to suggestions. Or even snide comments, I probably won't listen to those either. If you have anything encouraging to say, <laughs> say it. What do you think, Dan? Just say it, but don't spray it. Don't spray it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If we had merch, you could buy some of our merch. But right now we're just offering sweaty t-shirts. I'm in a neighborhood that I have no idea where I'm going. There's a link. Are we lost? I might be lost. Um, At least the barometric pressure is only 29.86 right now. Rising or? It's going down. Oh. High HG, whatever that means. I think that means that it's going to get hotter. Zero participation. Zero participation. Zero precipitation participation. Again for the next 10 days. So probably forever. Fair. Oof. Oof. My trailer just came this kind of. Everyone. <laughs> wow. Dunk. Where are my trailers falling Everything apart? Everything in the trailer is broken. <sighs> yeah, so if you have any comments, questions, anything like that, leave it in the comments below. Um, 
thank you again for watching. Subscribe. We're trying to build our subscribership to a million. <laughs> I think we have 103. I so. predicted this time next year, one million. One million subscribers. subscribers. Humans. Not even humans. Dogs, cats, animals. We'll take them all.